Hi, I'm Ryan Stell with BNR Industrial Automation. I'm here in the Extreme Packaging Machinery booth at Pack Expo, and I'd like to show you the shrink wrapping machine that we've developed together recently. Behind me is the SAL shrink wrapping machine. It features a PP500 10.4 inch integrated HMI. It talks to the servo drives, the inverters, the slice IO, and the safety PLC over the PowerLink Ethernet network. Um, it's an easy to use high speed shrink wrapper that wraps up to 100 products per minute. And it, um, it's efficient because the seal bar and the seal head move with the product, resulting in low film consumption as well as fewer rejects. Here on the HMI, we have the PacML screen where you can see what state the machine is in and how it can communicate upstream and downstream to other machines. So here we have our recipe page where you can select a recipe and you can view the parameters. You can go to the modify tab and you can tweak any one of the individual parameters. You can also save it or delete an entire recipe. Over here, the calculate screen is very useful because based on just a few uh, machine or product parameters, um, it'll generate an entire recipe for you and, and auto fill these um, parameters. And then you can go back to the modify screen and tweak any one of the individual parameters to your liking. And then of course you'd save your changes. Um, over here in the safety overview, you have a top-down view of the machine with all the potential uh, safety zones. So you've got an e-stop right here, and then on each one of these doors you have a sensor, um, as well as the uh, film feeder. So if you were to open one of the doors or hit the e-stop, it would turn red, and it would generate an alarm that would show up in this list. And if you were in an alarm state, PacML would know, and you would, you would end up either in aborted or stopped. And this is useful because PacML allows upstream and downstream communication uh, between machinery. So um, that's good for the feeding machine to this shrink wrapper would know that it needs to stop sending products uh, down to the shrink wrapper because it's um, in a suspended state. And when, it, when, when the shrink wrapper is back up and running, it'll be back in execute and the upstream machinery can start sending products to it again. The advantage of having PacML on the machine is that it's a part of a line of machines that all implement the same state machine. So this means they can all communicate upstream and downstream. So this machine, when it's not ready to receive product, the feeder machine upstream will not attempt to feed it a product when it's not ready. And when it is ready, the upstream machine will be made aware of this and products will start to flow. For more information about this PacML powered shrink wrapping machine, check out extremepkg.com.